Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with Castello Wellness and Adventist Health Partners. And I want to tell you about a beautiful study today on diabetes. It was elegant in its simplicity. And they looked at diabetics and they gave two groups of diabetics blood sugar meters and they told one group to check their blood sugar once a day in the morning. And the second group, they had them check their blood sugar four times a day after meals and at bedtime. They did no counseling, no intervention, no medicine changes, no follow-up for three months and they saw everybody back in three months and they repeated a hemoglobin A1C or a three-month diabetes average blood test and the group who checked their blood sugar four times a day had a significant improvement in their A1Cs or their diabetes control over the group that only checked their blood sugar once a day. Why would this happen? There was no intervention, no counseling, nothing else. Uh, what happens is, is this is very similar to what happens when you try and train a dog to be housebroken is if you imagine your hemoglobin A1C, this is a three month average of your blood sugar. I see you once every three months and we try and figure out why your A1C is up and your blood sugars are bad. If you're training a puppy, he pees on the floor, you reprimand him and send him outside, he has cause and effect. He peed on the floor, he realizes he was bad. If you go pee outside, you praise him, give him a cookie, and he knows he's good. So he has something good and he has praise. So he learns. If you could imagine trying to leave a dog alone for three months, come home and yell at him for going to the bathroom on the floor, he'd look at you and have no idea what you're even talking about. And this is really what happens when we use A1Cs for management is we're trying to make changes on a three-month basis over things that we have no idea were the causes. So when these people check their blood sugars after a meal, as an example, they went to Olive Garden and had all-you-can-eat breadsticks and went home and checked their blood sugar two hours after a meal and their sugar was 300, they may as well as rolled themselves up a newspaper and swatted themselves in the nose. They knew they were bad and without even making any conscious changes, they changed their diet and they changed their habits. Likewise, if they ate a piece of chicken and a vegetable and limited the carbohydrates in the meal and they checked their blood sugar after the meal and it was 130, they praised themselves without even actually being told anything. They knew they were better. They did this for three months and over that time period, they actually learned to control their diet and to make changes without realizing they were actually making changes. When we do blood sugars, we generally have you do fasting blood sugars in the morning and you should be less than 100. And that's the recommendation when we do your fasting blood work and I check a blood sugar, it's after 8 to 12 hours. So you could have gone to Olive Garden the night before and fasted for 8 or 12 hours and got your blood sugar down below 100. And as far as I could tell, everything was good. When we have you do your blood sugar after meals, called postprandial, that means after meal in Latin, um, your blood sugar should be less than 140. So a less than 140 blood sugar after a meal means that your diabetes is under control, that you're either on the appropriate medicines and or you ate the correct meal. If your blood sugar is above 140, that means you're either eating too much or you don't have good diabetic control your hemoglobin A1C or glycohemoglobin is a three month average of your blood sugar. This is the main blood test that we do to monitor therapy is A1C levels and it should be less than 5.7. Every one point of A1C equates to a 30 point average in your blood sugar over that last three months. So a A1C of six is an average blood sugar of 120 and A1C of seven is an average blood sugar of 150. Every 0.1 is a tenth of that, so three. So a 6.3 A1C is 120 at six and then add, point, add three, three, and three, so 129. So you can go from visit to visit. What this measurement actually is, is your red blood cells, which last about three months of life, um, get sugar molecules or moieties that are attached to them and the higher your blood sugar, the more sugar is exposed to your red blood cells, the greater this glycosylated hemoglobin is and it tells me what your blood sugar is. Because your blood sugar or your blood cells only last 90 days, um, it's a three-month average of your test. 
So ask your doctor about changing your blood sugar testing at home. Um, it'd be great if you could do it four times a day. We do ask that of our insulin-dependent diabetics. Um, if you don't want to check your blood sugar four times a day, you could do it fasting one morning, after breakfast the next day, after lunch the next day, after dinner the next day, and at bedtime the following day. You could also randomly do after dinner blood sugars and think that if you had a good meal, you could check, and if it was less than 140, you know you did a good job. If you wanted to be curious or you wanted to reprimand yourself after you went out to eat or you had a couple cocktails, you could check your blood sugar to see how high it was and hopefully that'll modify your behavior. So more frequent blood testing, fasting in the morning is the current standard of care, less than 100. We should be looking at postprandial or two hour post meal blood sugars and looking for a goal of less than 140. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.